So many of you already know that Zion Williamson, New Orleans Pelicans, I guess he's a, what, a forward, I guess. Um, has been messing around with some women in the adult film industry, I believe. I believe one is on OnlyFans, one may be um, an adult porn star, um, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, leave something in the comments, let me know. But you can look at these women and you can tell that, I mean, we're looking at <clears throat> two women with BBLs and all kinds of plastic surgery. And based on how they have blown up his social media, you know, he got one pregnant and the other one is mad that she's not getting the attention or the money and the watch and whatever else she wanted from him because she got the other, he got the other one pregnant. Um, you can tell that the one, these women don't value themselves. They seem to value the money and the family attention more than they actually value themselves and who they are as women. Two, it makes me worry about just the state of our young men. Zion, there's no way, there's no way that you didn't know better. As far as I'm, as far as I know, he doesn't come from a broken household. Um, and he should know better. I mean, we have to be able to value ourselves more. I mean, we always get on the women, but we have to be able to value ourselves more. You trying to have some fun, trying to have some, some entertainment. And I don't know what he does in his spare time, but it's obvious that what he does in his spare time is now trickling over into his actual personal life and now his career, right? His career is at risk. Because he decided he wanted to be with a voluptuous woman, not a naturally voluptuous woman, but a, a, a one with tons of plastic in her body and who doesn't truly love him for him. She's just trying to get a come up, loving the money. And so now you're going to be stuck with the baby. Now you're going to be stuck with the woman that you have to pay, I don't know, millions in child support to. Now you got to get a restraining order against another one and try to silence this one so your career isn't ruined. If I was the Pelicans, I would trade him. I would trade him because this is just, he's, he hasn't been on the court for a long period of time. When he gets on the court, he's there and he does tremendous work when he's on the court. This guy is, 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 easy, is easily a 30 and 10 guy. But He's really on the court. And now we see why. Now we see why. All these extracurriculars going on in, in his in his personal life with, with, with some of these women. I would trade him because he's not focused on basketball. He's not focused on his health. He's more focused with making babies. He's more focused with living this living in this fantasy world. If you want to be with a voluptuous woman, you can find a voluptuous woman. But taking it this far, to be with a woman who's showing her body to the whole entire world shows where your morals currently lie. Not to say that he can't improve, not to say that, that, that he can't make an adjustment, that he can't find himself, learn from this, and move on and, and find the right woman for him. Because we all experience these sorts of issues where we just pick the wrong people. But clearly, the morals are not where they should be currently. And I think he may need a whole new change of scenery. I mean, New Orleans has just a lot of distractions in New Orleans. Maybe he needs a new change of scenery to help him focus and get back on basketball. It's not worth throwing your career away. And man, we gotta be better. Just because we get a little bit of money doesn't mean that we need to go crazy and spend it crazily and and, and 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 spend it in a depraved, nasty way. This is someone who's given their mind over to whatever deep, nasty fantasies are are, are in there. Um, and I mean, once you make a certain amount of money, I mean, you get access to everything. But this is where staying grounded and having the right people around you comes into play. Who's around Zion who is spiritually grounded, who is trying to lead him down the right path? I don't know. But it's important, men, especially as we 
advance monetarily, especially as we get promotions, especially as we go further in our careers to have a spiritual godly counsel. Someone we can lean on to help us avoid some, if not all of these tricks that the enemy has for us out here. There's something to think about.